शरीरं सुरूपं यथावाकलत्रं यशश्चारुचित्रं धनं मेरुतुल्यं गुरुरं ग्रीपाद्मे मनस्चे नलग्नं तत्किं 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 मैसेज ऑफ गुरु अष्टक इज यू आर ट्रैवलिंग and with you the eternity is also traveling divinity is traveling with you you are on your beautiful journey but we don't know we are all travelers that is the ignorance we are blessed with in the beginning the very ignorance that i am something else has to be dropped consciously through sadhana and i have to feel that i am nothing but the eternity my body my mind my intellect my efforts my decisions every bit of my personality is carrying the essence of eternity manaschena lagnam guru rangri patna here the guru's feet is nothing but the lotus of eternity life is a beautiful mystery we will not be able to understand the complete comprehensive view of the eternity even krishna wanted to <coughs> give that glimpse to arjuna but arjuna could not be with that even for a second he says krishna please take out this vishuru pradarshana in front of me and you appear as you was please say the please i enjoy krishna the way you are carrying your physical body i can relate with you i can associate with you i can fight with you i can talk with you i can hug i can do anything but not with this eternity i can't take it i can't take it that's why the intelligence is blessed by the divinity according to the strength and the stamina of the container who can contain the intelligence even the sun rays are falling on all the animals plants human beings in the same way all cannot take in the same way when i am exposed i get sunburn so i have to protect it when somebody else exposes he enjoy many times i wonder you know when i ever come here my skin is little bit sensitive to the sun rays whereas my brother whole day he will be under the sun only i look at him my enemy him look at him so this vehicle can take only that much whereas that vehicle can take so what one has to do one has to slowly strengthen build up the stamina to feel the eternity it's only the bhava that's very important not what you collect the information it's not going to work that's what precisely this guru ash and guru ashtaka when you read you yourself can understand there is nothing 
you know, difficult in understanding Guru Ashtaka if you know little bit Sanskrita and if you can read the translation, for example, the first shloka, read the translation. The body looks handsome. Body looks handsome. handsome. Wife attractive. Husband also attractive, not only wife. <laughs> Shankaracharya could not say that. <laughs> Husband also attractive. <laughs> Fame spread far and wide. Fame spread far and wide. Wealth enormous. Wealth, that is a bit doubtful, but <laughs> it's enormous. And stable like Mount Meru. Uh, stable like Mount Meru. But of what consequence are all these? If the mind is not riveted in devotion to the lotus feet of the Guru. That's the music. So all eight shlokas, same thing. Hmm? Repetition of the same thing. The first two lines of the shloka talks about impermanent, that which is going through change, decay and death and creating constant insecurity in all of us. First two, sharira. It may be a handsome, beautiful sharira. But this Sharira is, is subject to change, change decay and death. How can you hold on to this eternally? Because I need something till the end of my journey. That which takes me to the destination, I want that. Not something which is going to ditch me on the way. This body is going to ditch me and I can't trust this body. At one time I used to feel that, oh, with this body. But now I feel, oh, this body. <laughs> but inside these two bodies, I am enjoying the joy of the love. So it is not the container your body is the container, your fame is the container, your wealth is your container. We are adoring the container, but Lord is residing inside that container. Packaging and inside the packaging, there is something else. We are all interested in the packaging material only. Always working, decorating, Adding quality to the packaging material, making it light, making it all. But inside we are not seeing anything. So what Shankara is suggesting is, unwrap all these packaging materials that you have been wrapped up and then <coughs> trying to get the security. So the whole life is a process of unfolding, unwrapping. Nothing to add. Extra, there are materials. You have to organize the materials. You have to coordinate the materials. And you have to put them in the right, right organizational structure. That's all you have to do in the external world. That's why for the external world, Bhagavad Gita has given a beautiful word, Loka Sangraha Meva Pi. Loka Sangraha means I organize the external world. So what I am doing here in the ashrama, I am organizing it. I am organizing it. Why to organize? Jagadhitayacha. Please see the beauty of it. Why I am building this ashrama? Jagadhitayacha. For the welfare of the society. We all need a place to sit and listen and talk and do the chinta. So, Loka Sangraha, organize this, build this. Depending upon the resources, you build it. If you don't have the money, create a thatched hut. If you have money, build with stone buildings. Still you have money, 
you stud the diamonds and all those things. But it is not going to serve any particular purpose except giving the shelter. So for the shelter, why are you putting all these things? You see, Shadika Grah, okay. It's good, once in a way. Shadi hona chai, you know, only sister. But whole life should not be for that. So the entire life is a beautiful journey of impermanent and permanent. That's why the marriage. Marriage means coupling with the two. Shiva Shakti Ayukta. Don't think of male and female, please, no. In my body, every human soul is Ardha Narishwara. There is Ardha Nari, Ardha Ishwara. What is Nari? Prakriti is Nari. Nature is Nari. What is Ishwara? That which does not move, that which does not involve, indulge, that is Ishwara. Both are needed. Electricity and the conductor or whatever. Both are needed. If the right sanyoga does not take place, it's not going to work. Even though electricity is very powerful, if the filament is not in its right position, it will not work. It won't work. There may be, you know, very tasty dish, rasmalai. If my pancreas is not in its right place to, to respond to that rasmalai, the rasmalai for me is vishamalai. <laughs> for you it is rasmalai, for me it is vishamalai. But if you ask that content, it says, I don't know who am I, whether I am Rasamalai or Vishamalai, that you decide. <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> this is what precisely Shankara is giving in the message. Om Guru Nata Jaya Guru Nata